Hello guys, it's Flint here from Backyard Blasters. In today's video, we're taking a look at an interesting item here. This toy gun shoots tennis balls. That's right, it's called the Bazoo K9. And as you can probably guess, it is K9, it is for dogs. So uh, your pet dog here can have a little bit of fun. And so can the owner, it's always fun pulling that trigger. As you can see, it's got like some orange red tape on the end. That's so people definitely know that it's a toy. It has basically two tennis balls here, which have a holder, which these are squeaky. And they sit in there. Then you have a strap here, which you can remove um, from those two points. It's just using simple clips there. You have the trigger down here. Now once you cock it back, the trigger moves forward so that you can pull it back. You've got your barrel here. Now this is how it all works. This is where the tennis ball goes and you pull back the rod and it sits in here. And then when you pull the trigger, that rod is released. And when it hits it, um, it just transfers the energy and out goes the tennis ball. So it's not using air, it's actually using a rod to push it out. So the rod is pulled back using the priming bar here, which locks back at a number of places. I'm pretty sure it's nine different locking positions. If you only lock it back two or three clicks, it's not gonna shoot very far at all. If you pull it back all nine, then you'll get the um, full range of the blaster. It's got a basic grip there. Um, it's a bit top heavy, but as you could expect, the grip's all the way back there. But once you pull the priming bar back, the weight's a bit uh, distributed a bit better. It's got a camo -y green color to it. That's pretty much all there is to the blaster. So without further delay, we'll get into the shooting test. Alrighty guys, so I'm not sure how well you can see me because I'm in the shade a bit, but here's the blaster um, on my back here with the strap holding it in place. It's quite nicely. This can be adjusted as well. So uh, very easy to fit to yourself. Got our uh, little pet dog here. Well, he's not really little, but we're gonna give it a go and see uh, how he goes. The idea is that once you've launched the ball, your dog's picked it up and dropped it back on the ground, you can simply just press down into the ground to pick up the ball. Like so, so you don't even have to use your hands to pick it up. Alrighty, so we're gonna cock it back. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what happens. So he's a, he's a border collie and they're pretty active dogs. So um, it works for a border collie, should work for most dogs. Now I'm using all the nine locking positions so I'm pulling it back as far as I can. I'll try shoot it with um, maybe five or six. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. That's about halfway. So it obviously shoots um, not as far. And the better you push down with this, the better it'll shoot. You gotta make sure you push it right up against the firing rod. That was a really good one. That was really good. And if you have trouble locking the bar in place, if it doesn't catch, it shouldn't run into that problem, but you can always twist the bar to help it lock into place. And you can load, load, pull this back before picking up the tennis ball. So it's not bad, it's probably shooting around 10 meters. Then once you take the bounce into account, yeah, it's going pretty far. Okay, and it also helps holding it because there's a lot of kick with this. 
um, the firmer you can hold the gun when you fire it, the better it shoots. Um, if you have a weak grip, you actually lose quite a bit of power. Yeah, so there's, there's lots of different ways you can hold it. This is quite a bit of force on your wrist. The best way is probably to hold the barrel here and then pull the trigger. It is a bit loud, it's packing a fair bit of punch. Shoot with my left hand. It's also got that element of surprise because dogs are usually looking for when you're gonna pull your arm back to throw it. Um, but with this, there's no action there, so it's, it's, it's actually a bit trickier and harder for them, which makes it a bit more challenging because they do not know when you're gonna pull that trigger. You know, it's just the twitch of your finger that's gonna set that ball flying, so it certainly adds a lot more excitement to the exercise. Anyway guys, that was the review of the Bazoo K9. Thanks for watching.